Hey, what's up? It's Comic95, the savior. I want to talk to you guys about the dangers of Japan, so to speak. So ever since I made my video in which I talked about um, being groped here, sexually molested um, by people here in Japan, both non-Japanese as well as Japanese people, but I want to talk about how safe it is here. So I've had several girls message me um, basically asking me like, oh, like, you know, but you say Japan is safe or is there anywhere that I shouldn't go and blah, blah, blah. And as I kind of said in other videos too that weren't specifically on this topic per se, I want to make a video just for that right here. So to be totally honest with you, Japan is a lot safer than any other country that you've probably ever been to and that you ever will go to. It's extremely safe. How safe is it? This is very stupid of me, but I'm just being honest. I actually don't normally lock my door, and I've never done that in America. My family and I, you know, we would make jokes and whatnot because my mom's, like, her friends that are white, they normally don't lock their doors, and so we'd, like, be like, well, like, y'all don't like y'all doors. They sleep with their windows open, etc. It sounds ridiculous. Well, even although I didn't grow up in a bad neighborhood, we lived next door to these people, <laughs> To us, it was like, what idiot would do that? Well, now that I've come here to Japan, I find it a hassle to do it. And no, don't get me wrong. If one of you creeps find out my address, you're not going to be able to get in. Trust me, my doors will be locked. But I don't feel the need to always do that. You can leave your bags down. Um, there's a lot of exaggeration um, with stuff that goes on here. So before I get to that part, I wanted to get back on the back part. But it's so safe here that like people return expensive items. I've you know left my wallet. I've left down three hundred dollar headphones, Beats by Dr. Dre, for over a month. They were turned into the lost and found immediately. I've lost hundreds of dollars on my IC card. You know, leaving my card around, it always gets turned in. People will hunt you down to find the owner of it. Do people steal? Do people steal? Steal? <laughs> yes, they most certainly do. There are thieves in Japan. However, it is not nearly as common. You can generally trust most people here. There is no guarantee that bad things won't happen to you, but it is much less likely to happen to you here, especially if you've never experienced anything bad in your home country. As far as the main thing that people want to know, like about rapists and perverts and trains, that does not happen very often here. There's tons of videos on this topic on YouTube, mainly because, let's be real, no YouTuber wants to admit this, but it's clickbait. Everybody knows if you make any video talking about being, you know, molested in Japan, everyone wants to click on it. Everyone wants to hit, oh, excuse me. Everyone, <laughs> I like bit my tongue. Everyone wants to hear these crazy stories. They want to hear about how this guy, you know, ripped your nipple off and licked your clit on the train, like these like kinky type stories or whatever. And I think a lot of people get off on them. Like I've had some really nasty, creepy messages after that video. And this isn't to take away from people that are legitimate victims of sexual harassment and people, you know, doing stuff to them. I most certainly have been, I've been <laughs> sexually abused my entire life, going back to being a little girl, going way back in America, not just Japan. So I'm not trying to take away from people who've had real experiences. My point is, don't take these people too seriously, because like I said, a lot of these people, not only are they lying in their videos, but they're not quite exactly being these godly citizens here to begin with. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm not justifying guys, you know, mistreating women or doing bad stuff to them based off how they're dressed, but let's be real, you're in someone else's country, so you should dress respect, you know, respectfully and modestly, you should cover up. A lot of girls seem to not understand what that means, as I've said several different times in so many different videos. Being modest does not just mean your breasts are not hanging out your shirt. Your shoulders should not be showing. Your clothing should not be tight. It doesn't matter if your dress is down to your ankles if it's still a bodycon that defeats the purpose if I can still see your bra and your panties. So with that said and done, even if you are dressed modestly, yes, people can still be creeps and perverts and come up to you and all kind of stuff. I've experienced that too, as I've talked about. But like I said, I see a lot of girls that purposefully dress slutty, wear booty shorts, etc., and then they'll make a whole video on how everyone treated them so bad here and how there's so many perverts and everyone's chasing them down. It's like, no, you look like a hooker. So people think that you're a whore and that's why they're doing that. At the end of the day, men should be able to control themselves. I'm not justifying rape or people, you know, harassing people or touching them. 
they most certainly should not be doing that regardless of what you look and are dressed like. But as I always give as my example, my family is Islamic. While I do not normally do the same stuff that they do, I'm not going to go hang out with my grandma and go to her favorite restaurant in Chicago. I forgot the name of it. It's an Islamic restaurant, very strict rules and whatnot, but they're used to, you know, regular people just coming in. I'm not going to come inside there wearing something like this. I know it's inappropriate. If I'm not going to wear a hijab, the least I can do is dress modestly, not look like a whore. I see a lot of girls that come here, and sure, Japan is not this super big religious country, but while Japan might not actually have a designated religion, most people here behave like they're religious, and most comparably, you know, to Christians. While Japanese people do not believe in Jesus Christ per se, their behavior really lines up with the Bible almost entirely. I'm not going to get into a debate or war with you guys, but what I'm getting at is they follow a lot of the golden rule type stuff and dress modestly and other religions do this too. But if you're a Christian, you know what I'm talking about. It's kind of weird. They pretty much do everything but believe in that God. So with that said and done, if you've ever been to a strict Christian church or if you happen to be, um, you know, Muslim, Islamic, you are probably well aware of rules as far as modesty and whatnot goes. Does everyone follow them because they belong to these faiths? No. There are some people that don't wear a hijab. There are some people that don't dress modestly. That's life. But my point is, you can't come into someone's country and try to reinvent the wheel and decide you're not going to dress appropriately and then act surprised when you get negative attention, people taking pictures of you, following you, stalking you, and touching you. Does it justify it? No. Wrong is wrong. They shouldn't be putting your hands on you, violating your privacy, etc. I totally agree. But what I am saying is, listening to these people's stories about, you know, crazy stuff that's happened to them and basing that off of whether you want to go to Japan or not is pretty ridiculous. So my point is, don't be afraid of Japan. More than likely, nobody's going to touch you. The whole groping, touching on the train thing is not an everyday occurrence. It's very unlikely to happen to you unless it's by accident. I literally had someone that I thought <laughs> someone literally pinched my butt the other day. It turns out it was actually a little boy and not an adult, but it was a you know crowded packed train and it very much indeed cut I have and maybe I was wrong, but you know that was after God it's probably been months since I had another weird encounter. But trains can sometimes be so crowded here that people are forced to be up against you and it might seem as though someone's trying to touch you when they're really not. I have personally been in awkward situations as I've talked about where I was practically straddling someone, <laughs> a random old guy. But it was because there were so many people pushing behind me and I was trying to keep from being directly on him and trying to avoid falling because I'm wearing heels and the train is, you know, swaying back and forth. So this is most likely what's really going on. And like I said, a lot of people here also purposefully don't like to dress modestly. They will wear tank tops, they will wear spaghetti straps, they will wear bo booty shorts, etc. Get in the train. They like the attention that these guys are giving them and then they, you know, want, they want people to look at them. They want people to take pictures of them. They want to be unicorns and stand out and then they act surprised when bad things do happen. Can bad things happen even if you're dressed modestly? Yes, I told you it happened to me too. But let's be real, dressing immodestly is definitely going to increase the amount of creeps and perverts that you will attract. You will not have to worry about people following you home and doing all type of crazy stuff to you. A lot of these stories that girls are telling are fucking lies. Does it happen? Yes, anything bad can happen anywhere, but it is not a common everyday occurrence here. Normally the most someone would do is probably follow you for a split second. It's very unlikely that a guy is going to follow you all the way home. Nobody's forcing you to give their con your contact information. There's police everywhere. People will stop if you ask them to stop. If you threaten to call the police, they'll stop and apologize. This is not like how America is. Anyone telling you otherwise is full of shit. Again, people like to paint Japan as this really big, bad, perverted country because it gives, you know, it gets views and there's so much misinformation and myths and exaggerations online about this stuff. Does it happen and does it exist? Once again, yes, 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 yes. Do you need to be worried about it? Is something going to happen to you? Extremely unlikely. And if it does, it'll probably just be once, if ever at all. And more than likely, if you are not in a situation in which you are around, you know, drunk, crazy out there men inside of a sketchy area, you're not somewhere like that, it's very unlikely you'll even, you know, get a chance for such a strange encounter like this to even take place, you know, to you, for you, whatever. At the most, you know, normally people would just look at you. A regular thing that you might find is creepy is people might, you know, take a picture of you or come up out of nowhere and try to talk to you and ask you for sex. Other than that, it's not really likely that someone's going to molest you, rape you, etc. 
Um, I think a lot of people also don't understand what rape really is. And again, I know I'm like touching on this touchy subject. It's gonna make people mad. I don't care. Um, I forgot the word. Where someone basically not forces you but persuades you into having sex with them. I think a lot of girls just want to say that they've been raped in Japan so I noticed that a lot of girls I've personally had friends people that I'm friends with in real life ain't even gonna bother saying your names but they know who they are who have told like these like long exaggerated stories both at school as well as online talking about how um you know they were raped but when you hear their story it's like so basically you chose to have sex but you regretted having sex and if that's the case then yeah i've been raped in japan too <laughs> because yeah like so these girls would go out on like tinder dates with guys the guy will you know persuade them to come back to their place with them and they'll decide that they don't want to have sex the guy is not legitimately forcing them they're making no attempt to leave they don't contact the police they just say oh no i don't want to have sex yet pull down their panties have sex everything and then don't say anything about it until people start talking crap about them at school later i hate to you know bully or whatever shame people but i'm just saying that is regretting making a poor decision which i think a lot of people have myself included i'm not trying to pretend like i am perfect but with that said and done i think it's unfair to call that rape and paint a picture that this is a common thing in japan for people to rape you i will agree that most people don't believe in date rape so to speak so a lot of people are totally okay with having sex with someone who is drunk mainly because it's a very popular and common way for girls to get a boyfriend back in the day it used to be where and some people still do girls will go out with a guy that they know they like they'll fake getting drunk so they'll like get themselves tipsy or whatever pretend like they're so drunk and then talk about how they don't want to go home and insist that he takes them to a love hotel so this kind of goes hand in hand with that i think i would like to say in defense of japan <laughs> but with that said and done i don't agree with this and i think that first of all that's kind of nasty for a girl to be willing to do that and even joke like that and secondly, I think as a man, why would you want to have sex with a girl who's not in her right mind? But again, this is a totally different topic and this is not what people are normally talking about. A lot of people make it sound like, you know, there's just rapists running around in Japan and you have to be really careful at night and that's really just not the case. You don't have to worry about coming here as a woman by yourself. I came here to Japan when I was 20 years old. I was single, didn't have a boyfriend, I didn't come up with my family, I lived alone. Do not worry, I most certainly have been in your shoes and if you're younger, don't worry either. You will have to deal with obviously creepy people talking to you because Japanese people think that all foreigners look a lot older than they really are, even if you're black. Like me, for example, people have literally like tried to guess that like I was a lot older than I was. And I wouldn't say I look young, I've always looked older than I was for my age, but like I don't think anybody's ever like really guessed my age per se. Like That's another story. <laughs> So with that said and done, do not be afraid. Japan is not a dangerous, scary place. It is so safe. Trust me, it's extremely safe here. There are perverts, there are creeps. I think the biggest problem is, is that the Japanese media does not deal with these issues. It sweeps them underneath the rug and they don't get talked about when they do happen. But I would not say that these things happen any more than they do in other countries. The trains here are very crowded, but people do not regularly molest, touch, and fill on people here. I used to believe that too. But after having been here for a while, been in different cities, I would say that that does not normally happen. And normally when it does seem like someone's touching you, it's more than likely because the train is crowded and they kind of can't move. They're in an awkward situation. I have personally accidentally touched people myself, not trying to, but just because we're so packed and close together. Most trains also are not like this to begin with. And just being real here, you should not be dressed inappropriately to begin with. And you might want to learn what modesty is, ladies. Not excusing the nasty men. Men, don't touch on women. Keep your hands to yourself. Be an adult. You don't have to touch everybody that you see that's attractive. You've seen porn. I think we've all seen big titties before. We've all seen booties. We've all seen girls half naked. We've all seen a nipple. Can we stop touching women just because they're not covering up entirely? And as for you ladies, let's just be real. Please be respectful of the country that you're in. You should not be dressed half naked. You do not need to show all of your skin every time you go outside. Yes, it's hot, but the Japanese girls here aren't dressed like that either. Unless they're young teens or in college or whatever, enjoying their life before they're forced to become a career woman and wear old lady 80s jeans, 80s mom's jeans for the rest of their life. So yeah, that's that. Don't be afraid. Japan is not a scary place. It's not dangerous. It's not full of perverts, despite what you've seen and read. 
So that's that. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you found this video to be helpful. Again, you guys, do not be afraid of Japan. If you have any specific questions about, you know, coming to Japan or whatever about safety concerns here, you can feel free to leave a comment down below or send me an email. Other than that, please like, comment, and subscribe. And you can also follow me on Instagram and Twitter as well as Snapchat. Thank you for watching.